Hey everybody, this is Micah Jones again. I'm gonna show you how I did this effect with just Photoshop, no plugins. Um, it's very similar to the effects in Nick's software called Structure, um, as well as some of the stuff in Topaz Labs, uh, mostly in their Clarity line. And takes a few steps, not too many, a um, little bit of a strange flow on how this is accomplished, but pretty cool effect, so let me show you how this is done. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete what I've already done, and I'm going to start from scratch. And this is a um, tone-mapped HDR image that I did of an abandoned house that's not too far from where I live, and um, it was just an overall cool place, and I wanted to get some cool pictures of it. So this has already been, this is, a, I believe, a combination of three images, minus one, plus one, and... A neutral exposure so that's already been done at this point but for the effect that brings out detail we are going to duplicate the layer once okay so we're gonna right click on the layer one that we just duplicated from the background we're gonna hit duplicate layer and this dialog box is gonna pop up and you don't want to just hit OK and duplicate in the same file for this effect, we actually have to take it into a separate file that then we're going to bring it back. So we want to hit New, press OK, and as you can see, it created another untitled document. That's our original. This is the one we just duplicated. OK. Now, before we do anything, we need to change the um, bits channel of the image. We can't do the effect in 16-bit, because if we do it in 16-bit, um, most people's computers cannot handle the amount of the effect that we're going to do. So we need to change it to 8-bit. Okay, now we need to duplicate this layer again. So Control-J, Command-J on a Mac. And then we want to invert this layer, which is going to be Control-I or command I on a Mac. And at the moment, this is gonna look really strange and not make much sense, but just stick with me and you'll see what I'm gonna do with it. All right, go up to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. And we want to reduce the contrast all the way. Press okay. Okay, and so now that we've done that, we want to make the blending mode vivid light and now it's going to look really strange and you're going to see depending on the picture some very strange pixels in the dark spots but that's that's fine at the moment okay next step is go to filter and blur and surface blur and you can change these settings um for me this is what i've always discovered to work the best and I've never changed them since figuring it out, but um, my radius is 88 and threshold is 12. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press OK. And see, this is gonna take a little bit of time even on an 8-bit image. If this was a 16-bit, this takes like 30 minutes to an hour to complete. Okay, so now that that's done, it kind of looks like a severely overdone high pass, except without the haloing effects. Um, but we're not done yet. We still have to do a little bit more to this layer. So the next thing you want to do is you want to merge everything down and create a new layer with it all. So you want to do shift Control alt e and that merges everything and creates a new layer. And then we are going to desaturate this layer now because we don't want any contamination from the colors that are left over. And then we're gonna go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're gonna just blur it by one pixel so that we can get rid of some of the, the harsh edges that may have been created by this effect. So just one pixel, go ahead and click OK. Okay, so that is done now, that is ready to be used. So we are going to go to the layer two, which is our finished effect, right click it, duplicate layer, and then in the destination, we are going to click our original 
image document we started off with. Press OK. And now that we've come over to our file, we have our black and white little detailed filter effect that we are now going to put on either an overlay or a soft light blending mode. Um, I use soft light. It's really just personal preference. But at this point, this is done. And this is how the effect works. And really what it does is it just it brings like a kind of a local contrast into the image and kind of gives a little more detailing to the overall image. Something that's very similar to the effect that is called structure in um, Nick Software's Viveza as well as Capture One has structure in it. Um, even Topaz Labs has some form of it in their clarity stuff. And it's just an overall way of bringing out a lot of um, detail in the picture. And you can change the opacity if you want, you know, kind of pull it down to 50% or so, you know, just whatever you prefer for your picture and, you know, whatever looks good. So, yeah, that is how I do the structure effect using only Photoshop. I hope you all enjoyed this video tutorial and um, yep, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep updates on me and more videos I put out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.